Someone is very active this morning, so let's take a look at my newly emerged Samia Cynthia Silk Moth, a native of Asia that was introduced to the U.S. for the silk industry in 1861. This moth is still found in the U.S., but it's gone extinct in Philadelphia, where it was originally first introduced. As you can see, these moths have some beautiful coloration, grays and pinks, touches of green, and four half moons on their wings. There can be a lot of color variation within the species, with some much more green. This moth is vibrating its wings to warm up for flight, as Samia Cynthia is one of the rarer day-flying species. On occasion, they can be mistaken for butterflies in flight. Their larvae or caterpillars are usually found on their main host plant, the Tree of Heaven, and these moths are so reliant on that plant that they are also known as the Tree of Heaven silk moth. This plant was introduced to the U.S. at the same time the moth was imported, but unfortunately it has since become an invasive plant crowding out native species. And using the moth's cocoon for the silk industry never really took off either, at least here in the U.S., and some moths ended up wild, sustaining the current populations. This moth is also one of the harder ones to differentiate male from female. There is not a distinct difference in their antenna, like in most silk moths, and you largely have to go on body shape and size. The females are still a tad rounder, but if you only have one, it is hard to tell without comparison. The moth is still a real stunner, and you can see how well it camouflages against tree bark. Since they are day flyers, this one is going to move around a bit and try to find the perfect spot to hide. If you were not looking, however, it would be easy to miss. So I hope you enjoyed this short visit with another one of our amazing silk moths.